Hello everybody, this is Master Prime and here I have the Transformer Cybertron figure Mudflap that was released in the year 2005. Mudflap is a Voyager class figure and in the Transformer Cybertron series he was an old friend and a student of Landmine. He was forced by the Unicron Singularity to take refuge on Earth and remain hidden until he joined the Decepticons and later on he joined the Autobots. This is totally contradicted in the toy bio that comes in the box where it refers to him as a Decepticon spy on Earth. As you can see this figure looks really cool and it has a lot of details. I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera. Now we're gonna start with the head sculpt which is a very nice head sculpt by the way and I really like the details and all the design. We can see that the face plate is painted different and the eyes are color green. Now the chest plate also has more details right here sculpted right into the plastic and the arms are really nice and this figure looks a little bit bulky and that's especially because on each arm he has this section right here attached to it and this is the cap section of the vehicle mode and this is the crane section of the vehicle mode as well so and I'm gonna explain that each section has a gimmick and I'm gonna explain that in a little bit now let's keep looking at the details of this figure right here on the legs there's more uh, details sculpted right into the plastic mode we can see like the part of the grill which is a uh, part of the vehicle mode actually now this is what it looks like from the backside view we can see this section right here with the wheels there's actually four wheels right here and again this figure was very well designed and I really like it now and before I show you the two gimmicks of this figure I just want to make a note that this section right here the crane is very large and once it's fully deployed it's actually almost about three times the size of this figure now if you don't want to display this, uh, this figure this way this can be easily rotated 180 degrees so now this way is actually out of the way now the gimmicks of this figure is uh, one is the crane which I'm gonna show you right now as you can see it comes with a cyber key right here earth planet cyber key and all you have to do is just extend this or push towards the front and this way you're gonna extend the energon blade or energon saw which is this one right here and like I said before this is, is just very large it is just so large that it is just very difficult to display this figure this way now this section right here is actually made out of soft rubber and the color is really cool you can see the dents of this saw and now if you don't uh, extend this for a long period of time this section right here is going to get bended as you can see now I'm going to push this inside and I'm going to show you the other gimmick of this figure but I, I need to get the cyber key out first Now, the other gimmick of this figure is located right here on his other arm. As you can see, there is a slot right here and you're just going to insert the cyber key. And this is going to extend this section right here. And as you can see, this is the second gimmick of this figure, which is this one right here. Now, this section right here is not strong enough and it doesn't have any way to be secured to the, uh, the roof of the cab right here so it's always going to be loose and I know that's a major flaw on the design of this figure now I'm going to show you the missile and it's this one right here which is pretty nice, it's actually uh, on a neon green color and it's a uh, translucent now I'm going to put this back into this section right here and now I'm going to show you the articulation for this figure now I'm going to show you the articulation for this figure and let's start with the head sculpt which can be rotated 360 degrees and that's all for the articulation of the head now the arms and shoulders are on a ratchet as you can see the arms can be moved all the way up to 90 degrees and the shoulder can be rotated 360 degrees now these ratchets are very tight and they're very loud now the arms also have a swivel right here which can be rotated 360 degrees now this figure right here can be uh, rotated right on the torso and it doesn't have any waist articulation now the legs are on the ratchet as well they can be moved to the sides to the front and back uh, the legs have a swivel right here 360 degrees and the knee can be bended all the way up to 90 degrees now as you can see the feet 
also have uh, some kind of articulation that can be moved, or this section can be moved down, but it does have a swivel right here and can be rotated 360 degrees. Now, this section right here is uh, going to be the back, uh, one of the side panels of the vehicle mode, and this section can be also rotated 360 degrees. So, on the instructions says that you have to display this figure this way, but I guess you can also put it this way if you like. Now, this figure is very articulated and very possible, and it doesn't really get on the way a lot. I'm, I'm referring to this crane right here. So now you have a better idea of the articulation of mud flap. Now I'm gonna bring some more Transformers figures for a quick size comparison. And here for our first size comparison, we have mud flap next to a Transformer Cybertron figure, Landmine, which is a deluxe class figure. Now this is what they look like front to front, and as you can see the size difference is very obvious because a mud flap is a Voyager class figure. Now let's rotate these figures around and let's get landmine out of the way. And here we have Mudflap next to Deep Desert Brawl. Now let's move these figures front to front. And again, this figure right here, Deep Desert Brawl, is a uh, deluxe class figure. This is what they look like from the backside view. Now this figure, uh, Mudflap, is a uh, it is a very large figure for a Voyager class. I really like that a lot. Now let's get Deep Desert Brawl out of the way. And here I have another figure from the Transformer Cybertron line. This time it's Hotshot, which is a deluxe class figure, but this one is a large deluxe class figure. Now this is what they look like from the back side view. And let's get the front side view one more time. Now let's get rid of Hotshot. And this time let's compare Mudflap to a more recent figure. And here I have the Generations Voyager class Springer. Now let's move them front to front. And Springer is just a little bit taller than uh, or bigger than Mudflap. This is what they look like from the backside view. Now, this figure Mudflap here, it feels kind of heavy on weight too. Now let's get Springer out of the way. And here for another size comparison, we have the Cybertronian Bumblebee from the Generations line. Now let's move them front to front. Size difference is very obvious. Now let's rotate this figure one more time. This is what they look like from the backside view. Now the backside view of Mudflap is not that bad at all. And here I have the Transformers Generation 1 reissue figure Sunwave. And the size of these two figures is pretty similar. Now this is what they look like front to front. Now let's rotate them around one more time. This is what they look like from the backside view. And for this size comparison I had to rotate this crane of Mudflap so it doesn't get in the way. Now let's compare Autobot Scoop next to Mudflap. You can see the size difference is just tremendous. Now let's rotate them around one more time. This is what they look like from the back side view. And now, now I'm gonna transform Mudflap into his vehicle mode, which is a blue crane truck. The transformation process is very simple and it doesn't take a lot of time. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the missile launcher just in case. I don't want it to go flying around everywhere. Now I'm gonna straight down his arms just like so and I'm gonna leave it this way for now now I'm gonna fold this section right in and I'm gonna peg it right inside now this uh, chest section right here of this panel I'm gonna lower it down and I'm gonna fold this section right here which is the head of the robot and I'm gonna push this back in now I'm gonna fold this up which is, uh, is the arm right here and we're gonna leave them up just like so now this section right here the legs we're gonna pull it to the side carefully and we're going to split this section up and we're going to move it to the side just like so but first we're going to push in the leg this way and I'm going to do the same right over here now we're going to push this to the side right here we're going to rotate this around and we're going to fold this all the way up just like so now there's a tap right here so you're just going to tap the leg right together right next to the other one and this section right here we're gonna rotate it around and we're gonna leave this like this for now now we're gonna do the same with the other leg we're gonna fold this up we're gonna rotate this around and we're gonna tap these two uh, the leg and the arm together just like so now this panel right here can be also tapped right in here there's a little hole so now you secure that in place 
and we do the same right over here we're going to fold this around now this section right here we're going to rotate it around I don't think it really matters which way you uh, rotate it around because it's pretty much the same and then you're going to fold this down just like so now make sure that everything is straight now this section right here which is the cap of the truck mode you're just going to lift it up from here as you can see it can be lifted and it can be adjusted towards the other side and then you just peg it right in there and this section right here the crane has the same feature you're just going to lift this up and adjust it or move it towards the other side and you're going to peg it right in there right in place and now we just have to rotate this crane around and this is pretty much the entire process for the transformation of this uh, figure which is mud flap and as you can see the transformation process was very simple and uh, it doesn't really take a lot of time now this figure has a lot of details I really like it and like I mentioned before there's 12 wheels on this figure and they all do rotate as you can see without any issues at all now I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera so you can see the details this figure is a little bit flat but it does have many details it, it just looks really nice now from the front side view we can see the right here this section right here which is the cap of the truck has been very well designed I really hope that the camera can see or can catch off details but inside you can actually see the two seats for the driver and you can see the steering wheel and everything now the front side you can see the grill which is painted silver and the headlights have been painted gold now on the side view of this vehicle you can see all the details applied right on the plastic mold which is really really nice I really like it now the crane of course you can see the uh, cyber key right here and I didn't mention this but this crane can be lifted up and down and this section right here is also made out of a soft uh, rubber which is it seems to be the same material as the as the the saw that is right here now this way it looks like from the back side view you can see the grill again has a nice a silver paint job applied to it and from the other side it's pretty much about the same right here but then we get to see the cab section or the driver section of the crane or the pilot which again has a lot of details I really hope that you can see this or the camera can catch these details now we have an, a nice Decepticon insignia right here which is really cool now this crane can be rotated about 360 degrees without any issues so this vehicle mode is really nice now let me show you this here real quick I'm gonna extend this section right here again which is just gigantic and here we go once it's extended in his vehicle mode now this section right here is made out of soft rubber like I mentioned before and it's really cool now I'm gonna remove the cyber key and I'm gonna show you the other gimmick which is this one right here and we're gonna extend this section right here and now you have the fire missile launcher coming out right on top of the cap I'm gonna rotate this figure around one more time so this figure has a lot of gimmicks and it looks really nice displaying his vehicle mode now I'm gonna bring some other Transformers figures for a quick size comparison and here for a first size comparison we have the Transformers Armada figure smoke screen which vehicle mode is also a crane truck now let's move them this way and as you can see the size difference is pretty obvious again this figure right here Mothlab is a Voyager class figure now these two figures has a mobile crane or a very articulated crane can be rotated 360 degrees and I'm gonna extend both cranes here real quick because I really want to show you this now let's set these two figures side to side now the crane size of these two figures is almost about the same except for this section right here now let's compare Mothlab next to a third party figure and this one right here is Patrol Specialist which is also a Voyager class figure now let's move them front to front and uh, as you can see these two figures are really nice 
Now let's move them this way so you can have a better idea of the size of mud flap. Now I'm gonna get patrol specialist out of the way. And here for our next size comparison, I have the Transformers Rebuild the Shield figure Rodimus Prime, which is a deluxe class figure. Now let's move them front to front. Now let's move them towards the backside view. This is what they look like from the backside view. Now let's compare Mothlab next to another third party figure. This one right here is Cox, also known as Gears. Now let's move them front to front. And this is what they look like once they're front to front. Now this is the backside view. So this figure right here is a, is a Voyager class figure. And now, now here we have Mothlab next to a Transformers Universe figure, Nemesis Prime, with a BTS add-on kit. Now as you can see the size difference on these two figures is kind of big now once uh, you add the BTS add-on kit to uh, Nemesis Prime. This is what they look like uh, side to side. Now I'm gonna get Nemesis Prime out of the way. And here for our final size comparison we have the figure Snowcat next to Mudflap. Now this figure right here Snowcat is from the Transformers Energy Online. Now let's move them front to front. And I hope that with all of these uh, size comparisons you have a better idea of the size of Mudflap transformed into his vehicle mode and also into his robot mode. Now let's get Snowcat out of the way. And now that we have seen Mothflap transform into his vehicle mode, his robot mode, a few size comparisons, the accessories and gimmicks of this figure, I have to admit that this figure is really nice, all of the details are really cool. Also, once he's transformed into his robot mode, it is very articulated and it can be posed in so many different ways. So this figure would definitely be a great addition to any Transformers collection. And with this, I conclude this video review of the Transformers Cybertron figure, Mothflap. This is Magnetar Prime, until next time. If you like this Transformers video review, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Magnetar Prime, or stop by my Facebook page, Magnetar Prime Reviews. This is Magnetar Prime, until next time.